Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Green Mama and I'm here to show you that you could make your own cleaners using these products. Um, not only can you use your own cleaners, um, but you can make other things like stain remover or things like that. And pardon my son in the background. <laughs> Um, so number one, and you can get these in different scents, Dr. Bronner's, you literally can use this for everything and is certified hundred percent organic. There are so many things that you can use. I'm trying to see, um, just on the bottle, um, there is just a ton of stuff for, um, face wash, body wash, um, they use a hair rinse, so you can make, well, you can make your own shampoo, um, hand wash for laundry, mopping, washing your pets, washing your children, washing your fruit, all-purpose cleaner, um, you basically can use this for everything. Um, so I, I actually use this most of the time, um, sometimes for for dishes just because I like the lavender scent um, but when it's super greasy I'll use Dawn soap um, for my all-purpose cleaner I just this is just an old bottle that I reuse I will put and I really don't do measurements because nobody has time for that um, so I just fill this the doctors Bronner's about this far then I fill it to about here with vinegar and I'll do about 10 to 15 drops of lemon so it's like a lavender lemon and the lemon also helps disinfect so does the vinegar so that's your all-purpose cleaner some people will use baking soda I personally had a problem with getting it to dilute and not getting stuck in the spray tube. So I don't use baking soda in it anymore. So all purpose cleaner, Dr. Bronner's vinegar, a couple drops of essential oils. You really could just use the vinegar and the Dr.'s Bronner's and you have all purpose cleaner and it sanitizes and it smells good. Um, I did the whole just vinegar everything and my house started smelling like it was pickled. So, um, so that's all purpose cleaner. You can use it on everything. Um, for drain cleaner, baking soda. So sprinkle a little baking soda in your sink. Um, and then a little sprinkle of vinegar. It will suds up. Um, leave that there for about 10 minutes. Boil some water on the stove and go and dump the boiling hot water down the sink. And your drain is now clean. <laughs> Another, this is a huge thing. So stain remover, you can use hydrogen peroxide and Dawn soap and that's all you need. So this is, my son saying hi. <laughs> um, this is, this isn't this product. I'm just using the spray bottle. Um, I have gotten everything out of this. Uh, my son had um, gotten poo on a shirt and I didn't realize I washed and dried it. I could not get the stain out. Um, but then I came across, it was on Pinterest actually. Um, and there's measurements, which is all great. But again, I don't do measurements. So with a spray bottle about this size, you'll put Dawn soap to about where you see my water line here. So um, about yay. And then you'll fill it up with peroxide. Um, if it's a little strong, because it can be, you can dilute it a little bit by filling it the rest of the way up with water. Um, and I will add water to it um, as it gets down sometimes and it's fine. You just spray that on anything that you want to get the stain out and you just wash it as usual and um, you'll notice the stain is completely gone. Um, I use this on a bunch of stuff and I will never buy a store-bought stain remover again because you just need two products. I'm trying to think of anything else that I might need um, for, I mean, yeah, I mean, Dr. Bronner's pretty much covers it all. Um, you dilute that with water, you mop your floor, and it smells good. There's different scents. I think there's, there's rose and almond and mint and 
whole bunch of other stuff but um yeah we don't purchase any cleaners any sprays anything we just use these products you see here for everything um trying to think of anything else baking soda is really good in your baby's bath water if they have a rash on their bum um my mom used to always do that i'm trying to think of anything else deodorizing um bottles like if you have left a glass bottle or your water bottle and it gets moldy um just do a little bit of vinegar in there and a little bit of baking soda um after it fizzes you can put the cap on um and just let it sit there for a few hours and you should be good to go you won't have any um any mildew build up and it will be completely sterilized or sanitized. Um, and then obviously you can boil it if you need to. I'm trying to think of any other products. If you guys can think of anything else um, that you use um, with these products, just comment below, like and share. Just trying to um, help people save money and live a more chemical free life.